Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman met with the family of rifleman Aurangzeb in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch area. Aurangzeb, who belongs to the 44 Rashtriya Rifles, was on his way home to celebrate Eid on leave when terrorists abducted and killed him. He was abducted from Pulwama by terrorists and later his bullet-ridden body was recovered on June 14th. His body was discovered just 10 kilometers away from where he was uh, abducted. And Aurangzeb belonged to a family of army men. I spent some time. One message I can take back from here is here is a family, here is a martyr who to me and I'm sure to the whole nation stand out as inspiration for us. For more on this, let's go across to my senior colleague uh, Zafar Iqbal. Zafar, uh, this, uh, there we can see on our screen Nirmala Sita Raman visiting the family, but it sort of makes sense also because the family of rifleman Aurangzeb have traditionally been part of uh, army. His father is an ex-serviceman, his brothers are in the service. So this is seen as a gesture uh, from the army to, from the defense minister to uh, sort of go and extend a, uh, a sort of a condolence. Yes, uh, Anjali, this is the second uh, such gesture. Earlier, the army chief, uh, Bipin Rawat, went all the way to Poonch uh, to meet with the family members. He spent some time uh, with the family of Aurangzeb. And today, uh, the defense minister also going there and meeting with the family. Clearly, uh, this is uh, to, give a, to give solidarity to the family and also the message uh, that, uh, that the army and the defense forces uh, are solidly behind the family. Uh, what's happened is that Aurangzeb was abducted from Pulwama uh, uh, just when he was proceeding on a leave from his formation going uh, to Poonch. Uh, he, was, he was stopped by the militants on the way. Uh, they abducted him and later uh, killed him. They also released a video uh, when they were questioning him. Uh, this is not the first time such a thing has happened here. I would like to point out uh, it, uh, Lieutenant Umar Fayaz uh, was killed in similar circumstances. He was also on leave uh, when he was killed by militants. So these are local people who are a part of the uh, armed forces and they have played a leading role uh, in anti-militancy operations. Uh, so the message is quite clear that uh, the army and the nation stand solidly behind uh, these men uh, who have uh, who have been killed by militants uh, uh, in different parts of the valley. Uh, so that's the message here. So this is uh, the second such high-profile visit after army chief, uh, now the defense minister also going and meeting with the family of our group. Anjali. Right. Thanks for all that update. That was our senior colleague Zafar Iqbal uh, telling us more about the visit of the Defence Minister in Poonch area.